And my perspective on equity is one that is heavily influenced by my personal experience, the Hurricane Armor experience that I went through in 2017. I think we're going through the wars right now. So please uh, pray for Angola. I looked outside and my kid's playground had disappeared. The, the pictures started falling off the wall. Uh, dishes started to fly from the cabinet. And I'm like, oh my goodness, my roof is gone. About 8 a.m. my phone rang and the first call was from the prime minister of the country asking me and how long would it take for us to restore electricity. And then it dawned on me David, you are the CEO of the electricity company and it's your responsibility to actually go out and restore electricity. The second call I got was from Carolyn. First question they asked me was, David, we heard things are really bad in Anguilla. What do you need? And I said, send everything you have. So I know from driving around that the electric grid took a pretty bad hit. What percentage of the grid was destroyed? Right now we estimate about 60%. Point, we had about 11 teams that came into our rescue and, and just went above and beyond to make a recovery happen. We have to change our approach to how we do things. One storm can wipe out two times the GDP of an entire country. It hit mostly the western end of the island. So the eastern end of the island was less impacted. Well, there are parts of the island that we could have restored if we had microgrids located in those parts of the island. Putting those systems in critical facilities like prisons, courthouses, hospitals, having those systems being able to operate independent of the larger grid in times of disaster, those are the things that make a big difference. How I now think about inequity, and that is the role that is played by more developed in industrialized nations, they need to account for the damage that's being done to small island states. With that said, we have the solutions. We're forced to create and spend more on resiliency. And we're leading the way in terms of developing microgrids, implementing those microgrids and transitioning our economies. So we need to hear the voices of those in the region, how equity must be considered in ensuring that we have a just energy transition.